Hello, hello everybody. Um, this talk is a replacement from an original talk that was scheduled today, and then we prepared it yesterday, I think. So, drinking. when drinking, <laughs> so <laughs> we have a few slides, <laughs> and we're going to talk about uh, PHP uh, release management. Yeah. Hi everyone. Say so thanks for attending. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Exactly, so uh, it was already introduced and we are going to touch uh, some topics about uh, release manager of themselves and also about what belongs to that work and how you can contribute uh, to PHP open source. Um, okay, so we've been introduced, so it's okay? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Uh, uh, the current uh, release process RFC foresees that we release a minor version every year, like 5.5, 5.6, and so on. So this year it's 7.0. Uh, because of great developments happened uh, in PHP last years. And, uh, <coughs> Uh, actually, every every minor version or major version always has a development branch, and we merge from a development branch up to so from lower development branch up to the higher development branch. <coughs> so uh, today you should be using uh, at least 5.5. If you are using uh, under 5.5, then you are uh, out of date. Uh, so we always uh, commit to the lowest branch and we merge up until the highest branch and we try to keep uh, only three branch uh, being active at the same time. So today we are uh, on 5.5, uh, then we merge to 5.6, then we merge to 7. And uh, tomorrow, uh, when we will, uh, when PHP 5.5 will be uh, out of date, uh, we will merge from uh, 5.6 to 7.0 to 7.1. It's always three branches active at the same time, no more, no less. Exactly, so, and uh, I think we go, we go to, to the next one. So that, that will give us uh, 8.0, that should be in 2020. <laughs> should <laughs> be. <laughs> Every five years. Yes. Which now to the next. So. Every five years. Yep. Should be. So uh, from that uh, main branches, actually minor branches, all the releases do you happen uh, synchronously, so consolidated, because um, we have we might have patches in the lowest branch, which are merged up to the to the latest branch, and there might be a security. So we release always on the uh, on the same day or near to the same day, and we merge all the fixes from the lower branch, if applicable, actually, to the upper to the to the release branches and then release them in all the in all the line in all the versions with the river. So uh, we should be tagging uh, soon uh, the next versions. Uh, it should happen today or t tomorrow. We usually tag uh, on Tuesday and then we'll release uh, on uh, Thursdays. So it we have today uh, today to, to decide if we if we do it or not. Uh, about security, we always have uh, one security uh, release at a time. So uh, today it's PHP 5.5, which is under security uh, only. That means that in 5.5 today we only patch security related issues. Uh, if there are any issues uh, in a month, we make a security release. If there are not enough 
security uh, issues or if we are not if we don't agree together on how to fix some bugs etc etc then we postpone it for the next month so uh, we should have a 5.5 uh, this month with some security patches backported to 5.6 together with uh, classical fixes because 5.6 is still under active development and then merged uh, to 7 uh, which sometimes uh, happen to be uh, uh, a little bit hard uh, to manage because PHP 7 code uh, is really different from PHP 5, uh, PHP 5 code. And then uh, we, uh, so we tag uh, on Tuesday and we have uh, a downstream cooperation, uh, especially with uh, Remy, which is uh, present here in the middle of the room. Uh, he's uh, the, the today's most active downstream uh, manager, I think, uh, together with uh, Debian guys, who he's about uh, Red Hat uh, packaging. So he he helps us a lot because uh, he tests uh, every patch, he tests every security patch, he adds more tests uh, about uh, uh, his own customer's uh, request from uh, Red Hat, uh, bug tracker and tickets, etc. from the PHP packaging. So he helps us a lot uh, to reach the, the community and uh, to have better uh, quality uh, support for PHP. So thanks uh, to him and uh, other, other guy that help as well. Uh, release manager, who? Cool. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add to security here that as, uh, we usually have this two week period but uh, we can uh, release also unplan unplanned uh, security uh, releases just uh, in short in time if there is a reason exactly and about RAM who uh, it's you, it, uh, there are actually many people here is Derek for example he was many release managing uh, PHP 4 uh, some versions uh, or exactly so these are just people from the community that uh, take the task whether they want or not. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's it, but that's a duty. And uh, uh, what we actually do is, uh, uh, Julia, you have you have more experience. What we actually do? What we actually do? What? Uh, well, we 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 prepare. Uh, we prepare the next release of the next versions of, of PHP and we publish them on php.net and on uh, every uh, mirror uh, worldwide uh, so that people can download the next version. Uh, we are the last uh, guy, we are the last eyes uh, to see if there is something wrong. Uh, and if there is something wrong, we stop the release. And uh, if it's all right, uh, then we, we, we release it actually. But uh, from the time uh, we say uh, it's okay, we tag and then we push it to um, Remy, for example, uh, and to have a higher quality. So usually when it's time to press the button to release, uh, usually uh, it's all right. We have already fixed every issue that could happen and uh, sometimes it happens generally once per major we have failure and we publish a version that we should not uh, it did not happen in 5.5 yes it did but it was not that bad but it was a regression that was uh, introduced in PHP 5.5 uh, that was not a security big issue that happened in 5.3 or something like that. Sometimes we have failures, but we try to have uh, the most uh, quality we can uh, provide. And then uh, the release process is published. So every step we use uh, is written uh, in a readme dot uh, release process, which is archived uh, under Git, so everybody can access this process actually and can see how we work, how we should work. Every time we change something, we change this file. So basically, it's just about uh, launching uh, shell scripts to build uh, archives uh, to tag. And uh, once the archives are built, we sign them using GPG keys. Uh, and uh, MD5 and SHA1, and actually it's not SHA1, it's SHA256. 
lots of things like that. And if everything is all right, then we push uh, the archives, uh, and then we push them to Microsoft team uh, for them to build PHP. So we, as a release manager, we don't uh, build ourselves uh, PHP for Windows. We build it uh, for Unix. Uh, targets and when we think it's all right, we are about to release it to on PHP.net. We before we send the packages to Microsoft Teams, and then Microsoft on their own in their own labs they build it, they provide it uh, for PHP.net, and when they say it's all right for us, you can push, you can publish, then we publish the announcement for uh, the next release. If you have something to add, perhaps. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly about about the Windows side. There is a, a continuous integration running, so uh, almost every uh, revision is being built, and there are uh, also test runs. There is a tool called PFTT, which can also uh, which can run uh, PHP test suite with um, uh, uh, with Apache, for example, and other web servers, there are test runs for applications, so it's tested quite, you can call it downstream as well, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, otherwise, uh, for the info that uh, since this summer, so since some time, we also uh, distribute, uh, we, add, we add the PGP signatures to the mains, so that means an, another, uh, as, uh, another source of truth because once mail is out, you can't change that signature, so many people get it. We, we also supply that signatures into the, uh, into the mirrors, but if you get a separate source of truth, it's better for security, like no, uh, no uh, tarball was compromised and so on. And what we're not, what we're yet to add, uh, um, when we, when we uh, prepare a release, it can be forked from the development tree, or it can be uh, uh, forked from a previous release. It depends on what is exactly now in the development branch. So uh, depending on that, we can decide whether we take all the, for example, for, for, for that being more easy, we can take uh, the development tree at some point and take it just as whole, or we can uh, just cherry <coughs> pick some important uh, fixes uh, about the Windows side, there is also another man who hosts the Windows uh, infrastructure, Alex Schoenmaker. <laughs> exactly, I had to mention him as well. And then we can pass uh, to the next one. To the contribution, if you want to contribute yourself, if you want to give help, PHP is open source project, it's always been. Um, so contributing is not about writing C code, not mandatory. We have uh, many things uh, you can uh, contribute about, which does not involve uh, the C language. For example, the documentation, if you want to help improve it or uh, translating it. Uh, you know PHP.net is transla translated in many languages and it's always uh, how to do. It requires lots of time, so if you are French, Spanish or any language, uh, there is always uh, a need of help uh, about the translation. Actually, you can uh, contribute to the documentation as well uh, using uh, edit.php.net, which is a nice, uh, nice uh, website which allows you to, to contribute to the documentation. And uh, if not, you can also write tests for PHP. It's written in PHP, in the PHP language itself. So if you have uh, strange edge case about something, you can add a test if you think the test is not yet in the in PHP, you can see that and add more more tests. Or uh, if you if you know about the C language you can you can tackle bugs uh, on bugs.php.net uh, or implement new IDs if you want to add new features but you have to go through the RFC process uh, if you want to do that.
So uh, for the documentation, you have edits.php.net. If you don't know, it's an editor which represents the documentation uh, in a JavaScript editor so that you can directly contribute without having to fetch the, 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 the code about the documentation. It's right for a little patch, uh, for something which is a little bit uh, something tiny, but if you have more uh, things to do, you will have to uh, build uh, the documentation on your own machine and, and fetch it. It's version under uh, SVN actually, it's not under Git yet for the documentation. So you grab it, uh, you build it, it's uh, some kind of doc book, it's been forked a little bit, but uh, the process is written on the tutorial, which is under doc.php.net slash tutorial. So it's not that hard to contribute to the documentation. And uh, always you can discuss with us uh, on uh, php.doc uh, uh, on uh, IRC. So if you have something uh, you want to ask or you want to know, uh, just ask or ask on the mailing list as well. Uh, when you don't know, just ask. People will answer and you can continue uh, your work. And uh, so you can contribute to the language as well. Yes? Is there a plan to move it to Git? When someone will. <laughs> Okay, so no, wants to. Works. It's complicated. I yes. Know it's complicated. Yes, it's complicated. So. Because it's tied to the website. And no. No. We'll talk about. Okay. Yes. Let's talk about. about yes, you, you can ask okay. after if you want. Um, or if you find a bug when. Okay. <laughs> I just want to add to the documentation contributing yet. Uh, what Julian was writing to the list, to the doc list, that maybe if. if anyone wants to help because there is now in PHP 7 there are uh, scalar type hints and return types which can be uh, um, put into function definitions and maybe if anyone wants to contribute there how to, uh, to, with, to bring the documentation to the standard for, for PHP 7 that would be cool actually. Uh, now about uh, contributing to the bugs, exactly. So the first uh, step is to assure it's a real bug. Uh, a question? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, assure you have you uh, assure there is a problem, and then uh, it should be assured it's in the latest PHP, and actually. Uh, and it's on the pure core and um, also for, for like um, it's important if you report a bug to stay on it until it's um, actually fixed or at least it came to some logical uh, uh, end because there are many bugs that are hanging in, in, in the bug tracker just because people report and run away <laughs> and then uh, there is no reproduce case, and uh, the, the the tickets like uh, the thing doesn't work uh, don't really help to uh, neither neither to internal contributors nor to <laughs> to to fix. And it's also uh, what I've heard anyway. It's it's much cheaper also for companies to have a bug fixed than to get with workarounds and to do some stuff that uh, uh, to, to, some, uh, to somehow get around the problem instead it's, it's really cheaper to, to get that bug fixed in, in PHP internals or in, uh, in PHP like in scripts anyway like in Drupal for example uh, Yes, so uh, uh, uh. Uh, check it's a bug, and when you are sure it's a bug, uh, help us uh, fixing it. That means uh, report it, uh, provide reproducers, provide uh, C backtraces. You have lots of uh, you have examples on how to get those on PHP.net. Uh, help us, just not say uh, it does not work. Uh, fix it, please. Uh, it's not enough for us to fix. So uh, uh, be active, and uh, as soon as the bug is not fixed. Uh, 
stay here. If you have more requests, we would like more examples for you, from you because we can't find the bug, etc. Stay here. Uh, don't disappear. Don't open a bug and disappear and hope it will be fixed. And it's not your problem anymore. It's not the case. So help. And uh, if you can fix it. Uh, Yes, just provide a patch together with the bug, add tests, uh, run tests, take care of many things like memory leaks or memory access, so run Volgrind as well when you fix something. And uh, anyway, the, the release manager will, should, it's not always uh, possible to, to, to read uh, everything in the release because sometimes we have lots of bug fixes and lots of things involving lots of big diffs and big changes, so it's not always really uh, easy to, 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 to see everything, but uh, release manager will check and review the job uh, before the release, but uh, when, you, when you want to commit it, that means you are sure uh, everything passes. Uh, anyway, we have a Travis uh, that will build for, for us, so if you make Travis fail, uh, you will have to, to review your patch uh, sometimes. Uh, when contributors try to give codes, and it's okay, but there is an edge case here. Uh, sometimes we have to revert be before the release and get it back uh, in the tree uh, for the next release to work it. But uh, there are, there are uh, uh, hard bugs, but mainly bugs, mainly on an average, they are not that hard to, 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 to track and to fix. Uh, it really depends on case. Uh, like uh, always, discuss uh, internal mailing lists, send your patch, send your IDs, discuss on, on uh, IRC as well. Uh, if you have some problem, uh, do not try to push something, to push your ID and say it's all right. Uh, ask for review, it's, uh, it's open source, you have many contributors, many eyes that can catch your mistakes uh, as well. And. Uh, if you want to add new features uh, to the language, you will have to write uh, probably uh, an RFC. Sometimes we, 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 we package new features in, uh, in micro versions, but that's really, really, really uncommon. Um, if it's a big feature, you will have to debate, you will have to work it with many people so that uh, you get everyone on board with you uh, to add a new feature to the language and it will be probably in the next major. Uh, it can be uh, in a minor, it really depends on the, on the case. And uh, if you have a refactor as well, if you want to help refactoring the code, um, ask people, don't, uh, uh, don't forget you can fork the code on GitHub and provide pull requests and things like that. So it's all right for us to, 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 review, uh, to review that. And we are humans as well, so <laughs> sometimes you ping and sometimes we don't answer because we are uh, personally on vacation or things like that. Uh, we are people uh, like you, uh, like me. So things move, but they move with their own uh, speed. So don't, uh, don't try to, to, to push, to rush things. It will be done uh, on time. Yeah. Uh, also to add here that uh, actually many people grow just from PHP developer, so many curious people uh, from P just from PHP developer first that to learn internals to learn C and then you have a chance to work with uh, really the best, best people in the PHP community together directly because no, no, uh, no one will refuse good ideas or actually a discussion uh, doesn't cost anything except the mental power. <laughs> uh, So uh, that's why there, there can be contributions in the tests as well. And many people start to write, in, uh, write tests and then to supply uh, bug fixes if they, if they are interesting in learning internals. And actually, if, uh, any code change or like a documentation is a pull request on GitHub. And if we see that someone uh, has contributed many pull requests and does good, good things, then we can decide to give uh, persistent access to PHP3 or to Zen3. Uh, so it depends on the, on the knowledge level of uh, uh, the corresponding person. Um, 
Yes, so start uh, start contribution with uh, pull requests or with uh, mails on uh, internals. Uh, show you are interested uh, in PHP, in Zen Engine, uh, in the core, I mean, if it's your own extension, it's your own business, it's your own code, and then you will be given access to, to the PHP Git, uh, uh, Git uh, tree. It's not, uh, it's not really hard to, to have this access, but just show that you want to help and that you have time to, to invest in the project, and you won't uh, disappear from now to tomorrow, and we won't uh, hear about you anymore, so that's uh, that's bad for us. And uh, yes, respect each other. It's uh, yes, you know, it's open source. So don't blame someone if you don't have uh, arguments. Uh, give arguments. Uh, we have an etiquette also for uh, writing mails. You can uh, read it. Uh, it's written in our tree, I think. Read me dot uh, uh, read me mailing list something. So be cool. Uh, do not top post and things like that. Uh, have fun. Uh, it's uh, an open source project, so if you are giving personal time, say so. Do whatever you want to do. If you are giving professional time, so try to keep having fun. You are working on an open source project. There should not be that stress uh, on your shoulders. So uh, always try to to keep calm and uh, give quality. Uh, PHP is critical project, so don't try to push some code you don't master or you copy it from, from somewhere you want to add it, so you must master everything uh, or try to <laughs> master everything. Uh, give good quality, give your best and uh, ask for review. Okay, we have many eyes that can catch many things, so uh, just don't try to push something here and say to the release manager, oh, okay, package it now, I want it in the next version. So no, let us review if it's all right. And if it's all right, it will be in the next version for, for sure. So there is no, no problem about it. Perhaps you have something to add. Yes. Mm, no, just, uh, just yeah, I, I think just having fun is uh, important. And that's the most important thing because this is, I think, being professional and having fun is uh, just a good combination. And with these words, I think uh, uh, we are done now. And thank you very much for attending. Are there any questions in the audience? Yes? Uh, how many contributors are uh, there to PHP? There, there was some counting from Anthony from Anthony Ferrara. There was like two hundred fifty. There was la later mails. Uh, then I think Ferenc, the release manager for PHP 5.6, responded. There was like hundred ninety for to PHP 5.6. So now two hundred fifty to to PHP since PHP 5.6 to PHP uh, 7. So you can, uh, this, some people do ju have just uh, one commit, some people have more, uh, so it's like usual. <laughs> uh, any other question? I have one question uh, regarding the reviewing process. You said ask for review if you're not sure of yourself. Is, is the code review not systematic? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you commit, you push, so there is, a, there is a git commit. So someone, some people can review it. Uh, if they don't, it won't be reviewed, but it will be uh, passed through the Travis anyway, so if you don't make tests fail, uh, chances are that your commit will be part of the next release. So, no, it's uh, open source. It's many people do that on their personal time or professional time or a mix of those. So, uh, no, there are no automatic reviews, there is no pair programming, there is just people that want to work on some IDs and uh, uh, sometimes, uh, very often, they try to work, uh, not just one people, but they try to ask for help. But uh, anyway, uh, you can 
if you have git access you can push uh, anything you must just be sure if you break something for the next commit it will be harder and more eyes will be watching at your commits something like that i think <laughs> Thank you. Any other question? Well, thank you, Julien and Adolphe, for uh, giving us a, tall, uh, a talk in such a short notice. Thank you very much.